I'm working on a charcoal and inevitably as what happens I'm adding black pastel just because the charcoal just is not getting dark enough um, and also you see that I have it upside down uh, I always have to put it upside down to really get the values of the face and um, anyways my hands get so dirty and here's a couple other charcoals and pastels that I'm working on so just thought I'd show what I'm what's happening in the studio we find fig lying like this all the time kind of long and languid and like his little paws up oh my gosh fig you are so long <laughs> Why are you so cute and funny? Why? <laughs> I know, you're still just a little boy. He's only probably like six months, right? You're probably only like six months. You like to show us your tummy and how cute and sexy you are. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't use the word sexy. That's ridiculous. You're not sexy. You're a little baby. <sighs> We have to be really careful where we walk because he'll just lie right in front of us. Yes, stretch out. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Thank you for keeping me company. I love how you always sit up here. Oh, where's Vic going? I love how you always sit up here. Sweetie. Baby, hi, hi, can you hear the purrs? <laughs> hi, baby, you're so perfect. Oh, what's Fig doing? What's Fig doing? <laughs> We just landed in LaGuardia, got picked up by our Lyft driver. It is a little bit of chaos. So you go out to the parking deck and you put in your Uber or Lyft and then you have to find the numbers. And everyone's trying to do it at the same time. And our numbers got switched at the very last minute, so I'm running around like a jackrabbit. But this is pretty easy.
guess it's good that we're not going to have one of those front rooms because they have complete. Um, yeah, uh, right here. Yes, thank you. Right here, yeah. Thank you so much. All that, all that uh, scaffolding. Wow. So we just saw Kathy and we got bombarded by collectors for Kathy. So we are in 4B. Here's Scott, here's the key. And so I gotta, anyone that's seen my videos in the past, I've done the, I've done the National Arts Club before, but we haven't seen any of the apartments besides Shane Neal's. So it'll be fun to see. It's always so clunky to have so much luggage. Hello. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, there's D. Okay. I've shown you guys some of these, so you guys can go back and look back at, oh, look at that. Bulldog. Oh, it's open. Oh, okay. We're having iced green tea, which is actually very good. That's our plates, these big leaves right in front of us. This is a small um, sushi place just about a block away from the club. There is a $95 lunch here, and I think that um, the Kim's over there ordered it. First we had our miso soup. Sorry I didn't show it. the entrance to the club and this is the first gallery you see this Kathy's paintings I, I don't know if they're gonna show up well you know sometimes the light gets a little bit too contrasted but really they look stunning John her husband um, makes a lot of these frames which is so nice she did it in seasons, so she has winter, spring, summer. And I think they're getting ready. Um, so even though she rented this space out, I think for like two weeks, other people can come in here and rent out the space for um, special events. So I think that's what they're getting ready for. Oh my gosh, look at this piece right there. to video these and this little area right here looks like it's a little bit in the dark I'm sure it's incredibly hard to um, light this because you're not really in control I mean unless you're gonna go buy new lights you know wow this one really is a masterpiece it really is there's a lot of noises here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing this painting justice. 
I'll try and do some actual close-ups with um, photography because I think that would make it look nice. Oh wow, look at this one. Look at that little, oh my gosh. I'll be in this room multiple times, so I just thought I'd do a quick, we're gonna, Lauren, our friend, Lauren Carlo is coming to meet us. We just got in and have some sushi, as you saw. Wow, look at that one. Oh my gosh. I love the transparency of this, you know, so airy and then the little pink rocks in the foreground. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the first time I'm seeing these in, in person. So is that all you have? Just like a shoulder bag? It's a very heavy shoulder bag. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of carrying stuff. And Kathy's been painting, and I'll film the rest of this in a little bit. But Lauren is here. Oh, you're so sweet. So Lauren and I just went in. Look at this art, like deco little um, kind of armoire. And it's a single bed and a little bookcase. But yeah, and then you get the you get to sneak peek over at people. <laughs> you can like rear that air conditioner is pretty chilly. But um, gosh, I just I love how old everything looks. So I have not really seen it because when we came, she, she, we felt bad and so we just ran out. Okay, here's a little fridge. Oh, so I w I just bought some coffee and milk. I don't know if you drink coffee, but we also have a lot of tea. Oh, and here's. Okay, I guess this is the bathroom that we share. So, um, kind of, that's, you know, it's kind of farther away from, um, we get to look down at people's uh, apartments and they're, I know, I am so nosy, man. I love looking at how other people live and those people have like really nice outdoor um, space. Not like we're gonna be cooking dinner or anything, <laughs> but, um, Okay, and so this is the living room, and you could definitely have a model in here. Oh yeah. I mean, we look out over here too, very New York, but the furniture is so Victorian, it's so fun. And then the paintings are so weird too, like everything is just so like quirky. And so here's another view, um, that big piece of furniture right there little table but no this isn't this is a pretty good sized room yeah. for sure yeah. and I haven't even seen so I guess this is our bedroom oh look at that table oh my gosh that's so cool yeah okay some kind of gloomy paintings but I don't know this is big okay well, what's behind here you can come in here there's an actual TV okay I mean, everything is a tiny bit dark, you know, because it does, it's like pre-war. So I could just even imagine what, um, what this place would be like if you kind of like renovated it, right? I love, look at this. Who's there? <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> I know, right? Well, cool. If you want to like um, freshen up or I don't know, put some of your stuff down and then we can, um, <laughs> you're peeking around. <laughs> Lauren and I came down the back stairs and a nice lady let us walk in through the back door. And this is like the restaurant slash living room that's only for members. And you know, we're not supposed to be wearing jeans, but she said um, it's strict at five o'clock, no jeans. But um, maybe I'll try and show you a little bit more of this place so fancy I love it <laughs> I'm really not a fancy person but I do love this sort of history and I love be I'm, I'm a detail-oriented person I mean, look at that ceiling <laughs> Ooh, 
I always just want to film just in case. I'm not, you know, you never know what life brings you, right? You just never know. I think they do rotate some of these paintings a little bit. So. I love being able to hear the, um, I love being able to hear the musicians. walking down the back stairs, kind of came out to this back room and then we came in through here. And... Nice little members only restaurant. Oh my gosh, I like this painting. Sue, is this your first time here? No, but I, but I don't know if I'll be able to come back. So I just thought I would take a quick film. And also they might rotate stuff. So just never know. Kathy's showing Susan Powell and the collectors some of these um, portraits over here that Shane Neal and Everett Raymond Kinsler has done. And I can tell that they rotated them because the last time I was here, there were some different ones. There's just, you know, so many that they could hang. So this is an area for members to hang out. You're supposed to actually not be talking. <laughs> they want silence. drinking a giant co coconut that's very heavy. We are in Union Square. It's hopping. It's about three in the afternoon. And I want to see what these protests are. Now I have to carry this coconut because it's, what else am I gonna do with it? Workers say drop Nimbus, end the occupation, no tech or apartheid. I don't know what Nimbus is. Shows you how out of it I am. So Lauren and I are just walking around. <laughs> a lot of people watching. And there's like a, a, all kinds of things selling flowers and jewelry over there. We just got to Washington Square Park and I'm still carrying my coconut. And there was a lot of police and um, like with sign, you know, signs. Oh, so there's just something going on in every corner. And we got to Washington Park and it looks like they're having protests probably for and against Israel. It's a gorgeous day, but this coconut is really heavy. Scott told me that this is the anniversary a year ago. I'm pretty sure when um, when Palestine attacked that festival, I don't know anything. I'm pretty ignorant. Oh my God, this coconut. <laughs> it's so heavy. So obviously the Israelis are in the center and the Palestinian, pro-Palestinian pro are on the outside. stop someone and then there's a, a Palestinian with a red horn. So 
all the protesters have left. Lauren and I are just having a beautiful chat on the bench. Oh, there's the arch. Yeah, I smell pot everywhere. Just, it's everywhere. In all seriousness, I laugh because I don't even know what serious is. Oh my gosh, so many humans. So this is Fifth Avenue, and the Selma Gundy is up here. Yeah, oops. Be careful. had a great walk. I'm a little bit tired because I'm old and we did a circuit. We walked down to Union Square where I got my coconut and then walked to Washington Square where we saw protests and we, was, and we just sat and talked for a long time and then walked back up here. It really is not a bad walk. And then Kathy and Scott were just sitting here chatting and now we're gonna go hang out with Kathy's sister Joni. I'll probably show you a little bit of her studio. So thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging in there. So we are right underneath the High Line, that really cool walkway. Um, we're on 26th Street. I guess 26 and 10. So this is like an arts building. Oh my god, look at that old-fashioned elevator. What? Oh yeah. It's so fun. I love seeing all these old buildings. So this is, I think, what you'd call Chelsea. Wow, so we just came up in an elevator. It was a beautiful elevator with an actual elevator man. And the walls were all kind of copper, brass. So, oh, look it. There's Kathy's sister. I think I had shown you a little bit of a clip from one of her uh, shows. Oh, this looks empty. This looks like a place that you probably would rent out. Wow. These are expensive studios. Yeah, we could put some white tape over that. Hey, Joey, how you doing? Look 
at this nice seating area. So you see oh the my gosh. It's like half. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, these are new pieces, man. I love it. She likes doing You can't tell, but there's like a lot of texture. A lot of like imagination. So this is Kathy's sister. Oh, so sweet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all kinds of studios. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is fun. And on Thursday night, they feel like a real artist. And then she shares a space with this lady over here. Well, this weekend is an actual Chelsea open studio, so they have a gallery walk. Oh, that's neat. It'd be neat to see all like the different studios, man. I mean, very nondescript uh, hallways. The um, elevator with the elevator guy, I think, is closed. He might have got off work. So we've just been sitting here for a while, so we're going to take the freight elevator this is very um this building i mean could you imagine getting stuck in here so this should be fun hey. Hi. hey were you the guy in the other one okay he moved over to this elevator that's my twin oh my god Cool. Yeah, I forget to tell you, that one closed 6.15. Oh. And this is the 24 hours. Yeah. Nice. Can I take a picture of you? <laughs> I know. Cool looking. Mm -hmm. He's a portrait painter. I'm, I'm a portrait painter. Yeah. Oh, nice. I do people. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there's people, they do that too. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. paint. Yeah. yeah. Whole floor. Yeah. Joni is a, she's an artist. She oh. does a lot of Okay, there you are. There's some people that are drawing in the photo. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, oh my gosh. Here's the street. This is the door from the outside. Very, very cool. See, that's the journey. That's what you have in studio. Okay. Just a few blocks from Joni's studio is Pepe. He asked, he might ask me today what do you want to do anything? And we're having Italian with this cute little restaurant. Very quaint. This is the outside. Pepe Giallo. 195. What street is this? I think it's 10th Ave. Oh, 10th Avenue and 22nd. Yeah. It's a gorgeous night and there's so many cool restaurants that have opened up since the last time we've been here. Of yes, yeah, Lauren absolutely. paid for our dinner. <laughs> Thank so you, Lauren. We're so happy. She's so sweet. And Kathy has leftovers. It's my birthday. <clears throat> um... I'm still in bed. I hear Scott and Lauren talking in the other room. Scott went out to get bagels. Um, I made myself some weak coffee that they had in a machine, those little really kind of cheap machines where they put like little po pods. Not really good coffee. I'm transferring my video that I did all day yesterday to my laptop. And I'm getting ready, getting ready to get up. You see my hair. You know, do you ever wake up kind of freaked me out a little bit because I woke up you know and I went into the kitchen and I was on my right eye I was getting these sort of weird flashes and it's not common for me I mean and I really thought I was seeing entities <laughs> what is going on here it's gone away I was like when I told Scott I'm like what this is not cool like I don't like seeing this like 
like you said, it's probably because I slept on it wrong, or I don't know, but that's not, I mean, especially when you travel and you're in a new place, you're like, am I gonna have a seizure in New York? Like, I don't want that, but I'm starting to feel better. It's just a slow morning. I know we're going to the Met, so I need to like, get ready and get up for it and have some food and go say hi to Kathy because she'll probably be downstairs at her show before um, we leave and uh, another fun day of New York. Anyways, showing you some reality here. <laughs>